morning gorgeous people we're just gonna have to ignore the fact that i am currently <laughs> sat on a camping chair at my desk i still haven't ordered a chair for my office table desk setup yet which reminds me it's something that i really really desperately need to add on to my to-do list to do so i'll definitely get one of those ordered but while this is still mainly our bedroom i haven't really thought of like focusing and getting this all decorated yet still with the house completely upside down but anyway that is probably what we should be focusing on rather than me like getting overly excited about the garden but it is what it is i'm starting to see little sprutlings come through and i just it has always been a massive dream of mine to have my own vegetable patch so for the fact that we now live in this house where we've got a vegetable patch. Me and Mark have built our little DIY greenhouse. I now want some raised beds as well. So I really want a planter and a raised bed down the side of the vegetable patch, which I will show you later on, um, just to get even more, just to get even more things growing. I am a complete novice at this this is my first year i've ever ever tried to grow i keep looking out into the garden this is the first time that i have ever tried to grow anything i have literally i think i like planted a runner bean at school or something like that and did a sunflower seed and that was about it i literally have no knowledge of gardening i'm trying to pick a lot a lot a lot of things up i want to get some more books i know there's even a lot of podcasts that you can actually listen to about gardening now and growing your own vegetables so i really need to get involved and start listening to some of those i'm just taking this year as a bit of a trial and error year um i'm taking it as a bit of a i just want to literally just grow everything <laughs> see what works in our garden so that next year i know what works what doesn't work um because it's going to be different in different soil and i'm just hoping that because I know he used to grow a lot of stuff in the vegetable patch, I'm really, really hoping that it works for us this year as well. So I have just been sat planning my vegetable patch, as you can see here. Now I already have um, things planted out in the vegetable patch. I've already got my potatoes out there. I've got some spring onions, some carrots, and I've also got some things going on in the greenhouse as well. I've got some tomatoes that are coming through. I've actually got my first produce i've got my first tomato that's on there um i also have a chili plant out there and a pepper plant out there not so sure how well the pepper is going to do due to the weather but again i'm just going to see how this all goes there's a lot of learning to do i'm just going to be learning from my mistakes this year i think and hopefully just growing and growing so I become more knowledgeable and just get a lot better at this so on my list for the raised beds i've already got some strawberries out there but i want to replant those and get those in a raised bed down the side and i also want to try some onions spinach too i don't think i'll have any room for herbs in there as well but i've been doing some research and it seems that strawberries are okay to grow next to onions and um spinach so i'm gonna get, give those a go in time i also want to put a lot of tubs down the side of the veg patch as well so i can grow things like potatoes and carrots in there but for now i want to get the planter going so that i can get some onions and spinach on the go because it'll be nice to go out there get the spinach tomatoes i also want to pop a cucumber in the greenhouse as well so hopefully i can pretty much produce my own whole salad from the garden which would be oh it's just like so seems like such a dream saying that out loud but yeah so what i want to do now is i've got the plan written out i want to do a bit of diy in the garden and that means that i need to head to b&q because i'm going to make my own planter out of like materials we've got left over from the renovation just bits of wood that we've got scattered about i want to get a little tub of paint so i can paint it um a lining for the drainage and also i actually want to pop to the garden center as well to pick up some more seeds so things like the cucumbers onions too so got a nice little afternoon plan so i'm gonna head out now on our little like trip to the garden center and then i can come back and crack on with the planters <laughs> Right, the hair. 
hair is up, which means I've got loads of little alfalfa flyaways we're just going to have to ignore, but I am ready to start building. We've just got back from B&Q, which is super duper exciting. Um, I'm going to chuck an old hoodie on as well while we're out there because although the sun's out, the wind is out as well, so it's really quite breezy. If the wind wasn't there, it would literally be the most beautiful, beautiful day. But yeah, it is a little bit windy out there, so I'm going to pop an old jumper on. Um, but I just thought I'd show you the bits that I picked up from B&Q quickly. So we've managed to salvage enough wood from around the renovation to have enough to actually build the planter. So we didn't need to buy any more wood, which is really, really good. We're just upcycling all old scraps that are around the house. Um, I did actually, that is a lie. <laughs> I have bought one um, strip of wood. Mark will be like, it's not called a strip of wood. I think, I can't remember. I think it's a 3B2. Pretty sure it was a 3B2, not a 4B2 that we got. Um, he was trying to teach me about the wood at B&Q and it literally <laughs> just goes straight over my head. I don't know anything about it. But the bit that I know about is the seeds. So I have picked up some cucumber seeds. Um, these are going to just go in the greenhouse though. I'm going to pot these up separately and put these into the greenhouse. I've bought for the actual planter itself, which I'm going to hopefully get planted out today, is we've got some rocket. Um, we have got some spinach and we have also got some onions. So these are just the seeds from b and I haven't actually got these ones before. Um, but we'll give them a go. I'm sure they'll be all right. And then I also picked up this like lining paper as well. So I'm going to pop Piper. It's definitely not paper, like porous plastic. So it lets all the water through for drainage. Sorry if you can hear the doggies barking outside. It's actually next door's doggies. <laughs> as soon as I start playing, they start barking <laughs> because I'm assuming they want to join in too. But I, yeah, I just picked up this, um, porous poly what's it called poly poly something plastic anyway that will just go underneath all the soil and i also picked up a ginormous bag of multi-compost as well to go in the bed so yeah we're all ready to go much just getting the tools set up outside and we're going to start building the planter oh i actually forgot I also picked up this paint as well. So it's going to be this really nice green colour. So I'm going to paint it afterwards. It's called Sapling Green. Um, and I got this because it says that when you add the colour to your wood, it is long lasting colour. It waterproofs. Hey, baby. It, it protects and it is also rainproof in one hour. You ready to go, baby? I'm ready. You got your drill out. What do you <laughs> Use three coats to get. Use three coats to get the best protection and colour. Got you there, haven't they? They have, haven't they? Yeah, that should be enough. Um, we'll give it a go anyway. See how the colour looks. If I need to get another tin at a later date, yeah, then we'll get another tin. <laughs> but yeah, so let's go crack on and start making the planter. I'm pretty sure you're safe but still afraid I'm walking in your garden Knowing what you do Would you say we're halfway through the build? The build? More than halfway. More than halfway. But you got paint and it's the funniest. Yeah, thing. that's true. I thought I'd just do a little half build update. We are looking really, really good. I'm so, so, so happy with it. So we've done the sides. It's going to be, how deep is it going to actually end up being? 
about four. 350, 400. 350, 400. So it's going to be nice and deep because we actually had some more leftover wood um, than we thought. So that means it can be a lot deeper and also gives me the option to do carrots if I want to as well and just things that have a longer route, which is fabulous. But yeah, we're looking really, really good so far. We've just popped a bit of um wood here as well because this is going to support the base because we've got some leftover claddings which we're going to use for the bottom and then yeah after that it's just a matter of me painting it then the lining paper getting the soil in and then the seed so this might be actually a couple of days project because i don't want to rush it either i want it to look like really really nice so yeah i think if i can get it painted today that would be amazing and then can do the lining and get it all the seeds like planted out tomorrow which would be fantastic it's obviously time's cracking on as well but oh my goodness while i'm out here let me just show you as well this little greenhouse is working an absolute treat isn't it darling so we have got some big sprutlings coming through we've got lots of big big sprutlings <laughs> we've got sweet corn absolutely loving it in here i think i'm gonna have to get some bigger tubs and then i can transplant them into those and then that means that the best ones i can pop into the vegetable patch um we have got some leeks that are starting to sprout out as well and also this guy up here absolutely loving his little life i've been giving them tomato food as well so they need their next lot on tuesday and also the carrots are starting to come out and the potatoes as well and also i've seen one spring onion that is just appearing as well so yeah very very successful day out in the garden So it is now a few days later. I needed to wait for the paint to completely dry. I ended up doing um, two coats on it in the end. That paint actually covered really, really well and it's now rainproof, it's now waterproof. So we're all ready to go and get it completely ready, which I have done. Um, I've lined it. I also put some holes in the bottom of the wood just for drainage um, and I've lined it just to make sure that the water can go through and then filled it with multi-purpose compost as well. So it is all really, really good and ready to go to pop my seeds into it. And it just looks incredible. Let me show you. Don't mind my crack pot over there. I need to get a new one. Oh, hello darling, <laughs> peering out from behind the bush. But yeah, I need to get a new pot. Um, in time, I do want to replace all of these because they are are all like cracked and have seen better days and i would like to get some really nice ones i love the um i'll pop a picture of them on the screen here actually because i don't know how to explain them but i want ones that all look like that but yeah this is how the plant is looking i am so happy with it and so happy with this like green color as well green's not normally my thing but apparently i've just become a massive fan of green recently i think it's because i've been spending so long out here mind all the scaffolding up there it really kills the vibe um but yeah i'm really really happy with how it is looking so as you can see i filled it up i've got all my soil in it i'm going to give it a good water the soil just so that it's um moist already for my seeds to go in just because i don't want to pop them into a super dry bed so yeah that is all ready and it just shows that if you've got leftover wood and not sure what to do with it instead of popping it in a skip you can make something out of it so you can make your own little veg box but yeah so i'm very very happy so now 
I also did an Amazon order the other day and I've ordered loads and loads of these little pots too because I want to get some more runner beans going in here so that in say like a month's time when it's super duper sunny I can get those planted out in the last bit of the veg patch. The sweet corn's going to go in there and that is absolutely loving life and I've got a lot more sweet corn than I originally planned for but I've heard that it is good and does work well to grow that in containers so I'm hoping to get a few more of like these big ones so I can pop those in there but I've just sort of like spaced my tubs out over there for the moment because what I want to do in time is get a little picket fence that goes all the way around this part so I don't have these little monkeys sniffing around the veg patch as they absolutely love to do so that will sort of like box them off so they can only come in here when I'm in here and also I would love to fill sort of like all down there with different sort of like tubs pots barrels just full with different things so over here at the moment we have got my strawberries which are looking very very good I do want to get some more of these but I'm just going to wait until next year because I'll be able to make a little cutting of these and get some more chunks going next year um, but they are looking looking good as soon as the fruits start to appear then I will mulch those and get some straw around them they could do oh they're still quite moist actually though they're fine I'll give them a water tomorrow um, and in here I'm gonna have a tomato plant there's some lavender coming along in there I've got some chives in here that are actually starting to flower so I could do with cutting all those off and getting some chives in. I want to try and dry those so I can keep them and then I'm going to have another tomato in there and then there's a fern in there that I am trying to bring back to life but I'm not. <laughs> Obviously as you can see it's not going very well at the moment but I'm going to persist with it and hopefully it does come back to life. But anyway back to over here. Also look my potatoes coming through. They're starting to come through um, and the carrots and spring onions in there but yeah so I've got loads of these so I just want to plant some more runner beans in those as well now um, and also I want to get my spinach, rocket and onion planted into the planter and then I'm going to get a couple of cucumbers to pop into the greenhouse as well so they're going too. the spinach rocket onions have all been planted they have been put out so I need to make a little note of actually when I'm planting everything I'm like not becoming overwhelmed because I'm really really excited about everything but I am definitely realizing that I've planted a lot 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 more than I originally anticipated so I saw this on Amazon I mean there's loads and loads and loads of different ones that you can get but I thought I would order a nice little garden planner slash journal so that I could write down the date that I plant things the date that I first see them sort of like sprout and come out um and also when I've watered them or when I've given them feed just so that I can make sure that I'm not over watering I'm not under watering I make sure that they've got enough food and nutrients and yeah so I thought I would order one of those little plant planters planners I don't need any more planters for now but also what I need to do now too is I also again another Amazon find <laughs> I am forever on Amazon especially now that I've just started this like gardening hobby shall we say there's a lot of things I'm realizing that I'm well, I mean, I don't particularly need these things. They are definitely more of a want, but it's just really, really lovely to have while I'm doing this. But it's so quick and easy, just to Amazon things, and then obviously it arrives, and it's just brilliant. But I ordered these bamboo little sticks that you've probably seen outside next to my potatoes, the carrots, and the spring onions, and I now need to do three more. Well, actually, I have got two rows of spinach one row of rocket and two rows of onions so i need to do a little sign for each of those just so i can pop that in and i know where everything is so i'm gonna write those out now 
get those out planted not planted i don't need to plant these i just need to pop them in next to the row but i think that is going to go ahead and round up this video. This has been such a lovely, lovely, wholesome video for me that I've thoroughly enjoyed. I know it's like a completely brand new, completely different from my channel and it is most definitely not everybody's cup of tea, but I really, really enjoy it. And this is something really lovely for me to look back on. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope that you have enjoyed spending a couple of days out in the garden with me because I just find these sort of videos so relaxing to watch, so wholesome, just so like calming and bring me a lot of happiness. So yes, I hope you're all doing well. I hope you've really enjoyed it. And I also hope that I see you in my next video lots of hopes. I also hope that I'm going to get lots of little sprudlings and my own veg this year but I shall keep you all updated on my Instagram and also over here so yes I shall see you in my next video. Bye!